is up everybody? I'm no Lux Given and today I wanted to take a look at creating some huge characters in Storybook Brawl. So we are going to look first at a few uh, just old recordings that I have and then I'm going to jump into a Twitch stream that has live commentary on it. Um, but in this game I just transformed into Trophy Hunter. We are in the finals right now and we are playing this bear stain comp, and uh, things are going pretty well for us. We've got a pretty big unit, and one of the cool things about Storybook Brawl is you're always kind of outdoing yourself as you're learning how to play the game. So the numbers that you see on your first game playing slowly get bigger as you play more and more games. And Magic Sword is definitely a way to create some huge characters. Magic Sword with Bear Stain, we can toss the Ambrosia now potentially because we um, just upgraded that Bear Stain. So we don't have two Bear Stains in the back lane. We would have a upgraded Fairy Godmother, but this is totally fine. And then I'm going to buy the Pigomorph to potentially uh, stop some of what my opponent is doing. But we're going to summon an extra Mama Bear in that first slot. And then its slat stats are going to get tripled because of the Bear Stain. And then those stats are going to get doubly put onto Echo Wood. So we're going to be able to create my first character in Storybook Brawl that has over 1,000 attack. So pretty sweet, um, just transformed into Trophy Hunter in the, um, in the last shop, if you saw the, um, the dream spell on my character there. But this is going to be the first time that I reach 100 attack in Storybook Brawl, but my opponent also bought a Pigomorph and it lands directly on my Echo Wood. Um, so both of us Pigo each other. There you can see 300 attack. That would have been 600 attack on the Echo Wood. And then here you can see another 300 attack. That would have been another 600 attack on the Echo Wood, totaling up to over 1,000 and would have been my first character over 1,000 attack. Um, am I still able to win this game? I think I lose it because they're going to have a Juliet. So that Juliet's going to be bigger than my bear stain. And I'm actually going to lose this game because they hit the scam on my Echo Wood. Now they could have hit it on the bear stain or on the baby bear. And either of those things would have been pretty bad for me. But I want to take a look at another game now where I also got really close. Again, we are going to take a look at the final battle and a lot of things have gone really right for us in this game. We've got Mimic, we've got Spear, this is the old Spear before it was buffed, and we've got Owls. So our good boy is attacking here, it's going to get plus 10, plus 10, put a bunch of stats on our Echo Woods, and... Uh, then we've got the Court Wizard here being able to fire a bunch of bonus attacks. So honestly, like this battle's fine. We're going to win this one, but we're just not quite going to reach that 1k. We see my opponent reaches a 1,400 attack Echo Wood, and we're going to be able to trade with it because it doesn't have that much defense. But our Echo Woods only get to about 900. So still have a little bit of work to go there. Here was the uh, final screen. A pretty good board, but we can do a little bit better. And this game only took place a day after the previous one. So I felt like, okay, I'm building to something. And then a few days after that, I decided to stream on Twitch and was able to blow those records out of the water live on Twitch. So before I throw to that game, I'll just say, if you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe on YouTube here, or catch me live at twitch.tv slash nolexgiven to see more. But enjoy. What is up, everybody? I'm no Lex Given, and today we are going to be playing some Storybook Brawl. I am almost legend. I hit Monarch off stream and figured I'd, I'd stream for a little bit and just play some Storybook Brawl. Having 
a lot of fun playing this game. Um, actually played against uh, Yurik Yu, um, who I recognize from the stream the other day. Um, while I wasn't streaming, played against him. And um, definitely starting to level up both in my rank and in my ability to play Storybook Brawl. Uh, Wonder Waddle is one of the only heroes that I have purchased, and hey, if I bought it, might as well flaunt it. So, gonna run Wonder Waddle here. Definitely have been enjoying Wonder Waddle. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, <clears throat> don't really think I've got a shot to hit Legend on this stream. I'm probably only gonna play two games, maybe three. Uh, but even so, only earning 75 um, per game means I'm not going to be able to get there. we got two choices for animals. Um, I'll grab a Wizard's Familiar. It scales a little bit better. And um, we'll see what we can do to upgrade some level 2 and level 3 animals. I really like Wonder Waddle for Spell Ball because it just allows you to complete those level 3 treasures really easily. But we will see what we can do to make Wonder Waddle work this game. I'm pretty tired, too. It's it's pretty late already, but I was going to play Storybook Brawl, so might as well play it on stream. Uh, really awkward ordering here because I'd love to pick up the Cinderella and and use the sugar and spice, but the only target for the sugar and spice is the Lonely Prince. So if I want to do that, I could lock the Cinderella in the shop, uh, but it never feels great to lock the shop with Wonder Waddle when you're not locking animals. So let's do that. That's a free spell. Let's roll again. Okay. I'll lock animals. That's fine. Next turn, I grab the Polywoggle and then potentially even grab the Humpty Dumpty, but... It's just cool to grab the um, the animals from the shop when you're Wonder Waddling. Definitely taking some damage here. Have not had super powerful shops to start this game off. But let's grab a Polywoggle. And yeah, your animals having plus one, plus one, and good is, of course, really good for the Woggle. Um, I'm not sure if I really, like, actively want to slay with the Polywoggle, but I need to take a little bit less damage. We are playing against the second worst player in the lobby. I guess Loki is potentially worse now that Loki has taken some damage, but um, yeah, I'm not super keen to, to slay with Polywoggle, but if it happens, it happens. Just because you'd rather do it after you've leveled up, but We'll, we'll roll the die here if it happens here. If not, it will happen for us next turn, most assuredly. So let's see. You got anything for us to slay here, my dude? No, you don't. All right, that's sweet. That's sweet. Um, so we will trade with the dwarf, and then this dwarf will take us out, and we'll take uh, four damage, but that's fine. Better than taking more damage. Now we level up, so the polywoggle is better. And we could even grab some more Polywoggles. We could also grab a Mad Mim to support what we're going on. Um, I think I like that. Just White Stag and then Mad Mim so that we're more likely to Polywoggle. We could have also White Stag to pump the Polywoggle. I think that would have been a fine play as well. But just buffing our supports seems fine too. Could lock the Turkish Delight, but I don't actually love leveling early with Wonder Waddle because then you're not making as much use of your hero power. So I'd like to just try to do that now, and then this will give us a direction, whatever this transforms into. Like if we get a, a Juliet or a Hippocampus. I mean, Hippocampus would be the best possible thing to polywoggle into, I have to imagine, just because we already want to, that's annoying, we already want to be buying animals, um, and those were, those were really terrible hits for us as well. Oh well. 
Oh well. Oh, and we gave them that. Alright, but now we get this. So I like that. We could cast a spell if we want. Or we could just buy a lonely prince, which would eventually be an animal. I guess we could do both. Let's see what let's see what treasure we get first. Can we get Alright, Slay have plus one plus one. Or let's just sting, I think. I think stinging will be slightly better. So that will also guarantee we get the slay. It'll guarantee other future slays as well. Let's throw in a roll and see if we can find another wizard familiar. We cannot. So I'm honestly thinking that we sell this to buy the Trojan donkey. I guess let's do this too, just to make sure the Polywoggle survives and gets to gets to do his thing. And then the donkey plus the stag. We've got, I mean, as long as the stag attacks, we've got a pretty good board right now, I think. All right, so the stag's going to attack. We're going to get that slay. Stag actually might not attack. All right, that's a good upgraded unit. That's going to give us some economy. And it's going to give us a decent board presence. But most importantly, some economy. And then the donkey is going to be really good here too. So... <clears throat> Good stuff. A lot of gold. A lot of gold coming for us right now. We might have like 10 gold this turn, 12 gold, 13. Amazing. Plus we have two upgrades. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, Wizards familiar when you buy an evil. Characters have plus one attack. I mean, I think I'm just going to skip this. I don't think we're using any of this. And then let's buy a donkey. First character is plus 10 health or... I mean, giving our Dwarf plus 10 health is going to help us snowball, I think. So I'm into what this has got going on. And then I think let's just try to find some more animals. I could certainly see grabbing the Adventurer now and just trying to do that. Nobody else has gained... Okay, only Jack has gained experience. So maybe it is my job to grab some XP here. Sure. We've got the Ecom, we've got the XP. We're not really making use of Wonder Waddle at this point anymore, but we do already have some treasures. We're basically, we're not spellballing or anything crazy, but I think we've done some other decent things. So maybe we just call it a win. Unfortunately, we're not going to be triggering it this turn, but we're just going to be getting a ton of cash again. And that can be enough, you know? We're going to have like 15 cash, 18, 18 cash. This is, this is definitely a lot of cashola. Um, let's look for a better spell than this, though. Uh, I will take any animals we find, though. Hmm. All right, well, I think I do throw this spell on here, get an upgraded level 5 unit, which is a Lancelot that is about to trigger for us. So I love that, no complaints. Um, <clears throat> we're up against last place Loki, so I don't think I need to do anything crazy. But I could certainly see trying to find like a Nim or something to pump him up. Uh, let's just look for some more animals, right? Hippocamp is really good with any future animals that we might buy. So certainly worth picking that up. And then I see a few more animal options here. <coughs> Maybe let's grab that. And then can we find a double? No. We can find a chicken. So let's just buy a chicken. The rest of this is fine. Yeah, this is fine. It's playing the hippocamp for like slightly better stats. It does mean that our stag might totally die here now. But... <clears throat> It's a risk worth taking, I think. 
Yeah, because now our board's insane. I mean, maybe I did just want experience, so maybe it wasn't a risk worth taking, but it wasn't a huge risk, I guess is really what I mean to say here. And is that a kill? All right, we kill Loki. So we are now seventh. That's nice. We're also going to be getting a level five treasure, and we are going to be leveling up faster than all our opponents. All right, Hand of Midas isn't that great, um, but Ambrosia, I suppose, uh, seems fine. Yeah. It's like we're passively just hanging on to... Um, Uh, an upgraded character for whenever we might be able to make that work. Um, I mean, the Crown of Atlas is fine with what we're doing, so I'm not in a particular rush to upgrade it, but let's see if we can find, yeah, like Merlin's hat and, and potentially still sell, uh, Snowball now. Or Hatball, rather. Give our animals minus one, minus one. That's fine. Um, might even like sell the pig or the stag. That's always something I consider. But for now, let's just do this. Let's skip, sell, buy, roll, buy this. Ah, dang. Couldn't lock it in time. Just the animations really bogged me down. Would have had another level three treasure there uh, to potentially start hatballing. Not that I'm convinced that's what I want to do. Um, I think my main concern here is actually just experience. But uh, we are getting the experience at the very least, so that's nice. Uh, we take out one of the buzzards. That's really good. And we will have enough to take out the other buzzard as well. Um, nice, and we got to keep our pig. So that's all really good. We even blew up one of their treasures. Um, I think it was the treasure where you gain health, so not a huge deal. All right, and we're level six now, so we can get rid of this. Sheep and wolf, wolf's clothing is cool. Queen's grace is fine, but I don't think we want to cast our spell just yet. Okay, another Wizard's Familiar could be a lot of fun. All right, let's see if we can Hatball. Will they let us? They will not yet let us Hatball. Let's grab some Fancy Pants. Let's get rid of Sting because I wasn't thinking. Um, I think we sell these Stags because we just want to get more animals back in the pool. But we're mostly looking at the, the Hippocamp right now. Let me just skip this. Um, oh, I thought I had a place for that. It's fine. It's fine. Definitely uh, not finding the time for all of my actions right now, but... Uh... Like I said, I think we're doing okay with um, where we're currently at as far as XP on everybody else in the lobby. We'll just try to get some good boys right now. We don't really have to worry about this spell ball nonsense. We're doing okay. And if we ever summon animals, we will make use of our hungry hippo camp. Uh, let's see if we can clear the crafty somehow. Okay, princess will attack this so we can clear the princess, but we won't be able to clear the um, crafty, unfortunately. So we do take a little bit of damage there and give our opponent some health. That's free. Um, we are level six now, so I think I potentially want to start looking at a good comp as well. There he is. There's the good boy. And good boy is an animal. So that's fun as well. Consider the cat, but we want to play as much good stuff as we can, like friendly spirits. 
Uh, let's buy Friendly Spirit like this. Good boy here. We need one more good unit. Um, sure. Actually, we don't need to lock. Let's just sell everything. Unlock. All right. And now we're building our Hercules. And basically, we're, we're totally giving up on Wonder Waddle and the Hungry Hippocampus. And now that we're level six before everybody else, we're just trying to find as much good boy related synergy as we can. Um, those were really, really fantastic attacks, as was that one. So that was all extremely awkward, but I think we've got the beef here still to actually win this combat. 27, oh, didn't think about that. Didn't think about that. Uh, yeah, it's going to not quite work out, but that was, that was really close. I guess the spear with lightning dragon is really good. Okay, well... Animals is certainly something to consider. We are playing some animals right now. Um, I mean, it pumps the good boy. So, like, it seems fine for us for right now. How good is it always going to be? I don't know. I also might rather have an Ambrosia Godmother or Bear Stain. But let's just look for more good boys, I believe. This is good, too. Um, that's fine. I probably play this. Don't love the stag. Let's just spend a little more econ rolling a little bit more. This gives us random level 6 characters. That's actually pretty good. I don't know if I noticed how good the donkey actually stays in the late game previously. We're playing the ghost here, so it was fine to just, like, roll infinitely. Oh, 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 let's do this. Yeah, this is better. We killed the donkey, and will our other things die? Eventually, maybe. All right, there we go. Now our units start dying. Okay, and we might actually get Hercules. We would have actually loved to have Hercules front lane on this fight. Uh, Hercules is not even going to get to attack again or deal damage again, unless this vulture starts to do a ton of work. Um, I don't really think it can. It's just going to basically die here. Yeah. All right. Well, fortunately, Hercules didn't get to do his thing, but we did win, which is, I guess, something. All right. Echo Wood is obviously great. Let's grab a 3 3 Echo Wood and let's find another good boy. There's our second good boy. Uh, so at this point, I think we just sell Trojan Donkey. I mean, funny enough, I think the Friendly Spirit might be better than Lancelot. Um, but it's tricky. It's close. It's close. Beasto did also power level a little bit. Uh, you know what? I think this is fine. I think there's a chance that this all blows up here somehow. But I think this is good. We'll probably keep the Lancelot and toss the Hercules once we activate the Hercules this combat. I think we do ac activate Hercules here. We either activate Hercules here or we snag fourth place. So <laughs> one of those two things is happening. We might just be dying. That is a big doubly. But that hit went on to Good Boy. So now Good Boy's going to hit everything. That Good Boy is going to power up everything. That's going to power up Hercules. So now we've got a really big Triant. But they also have a really big Doubly. Um, so this is scary. 
This is certainly scary, but my tree aunt will take out doubly here. Oh, they've got a tree as well. Okay. Um, so we lose this combat, but we only take seven. So super happy about that. That gives us fourth place. We get a level six treasure. Spear of Achilles is really good with good boy, as is the ivory owl, though. I think we have to go ivory owl here. And then we are going to go... Um, I think we cut the fancy pants. The Ambrosia is definitely good. I should be making more use of the Ambrosia. I could have won that fight if I ambrosia properly. <sighs> what do we not want? The fancy pants or the Merlin's hat? I think let's toss the fancy pants here. All right, let's Ambrosia this. And then let's upgrade the good boy. The, pump, the pumped up good boy. This I think is fine. And now we've got a few rolls here. Sure. We'll lock that. So next turn we buy hungry or we buy a uh, friendly spirit. And then we've got two rolls to find another six drop three rolls actually to find another six drop good unit um but i think we win as long as the dragon doesn't do anything too too nuts <laughs> that is really powerful <laughs> that is really really insanely powerful um okay great so now we just have to dodge medusas and uh we're doing okay definitely doing okay right now that spear could have gone really bad for us but um, things are going to get more and more in our favor as these combats go on. Let's see if we can get a four-cost treasure to replace Merlin's hat. Give the characters in its row plus one, plus one. I think that that is really good considering what our front row actually is. I don't want that spell. I want another good unit, and the Green Knight seems like it's it. Um... So we definitely backline this. Yeah, we want these guys to survive. You just want your good boys to die as soon as possible. You don't want to get too greedy. So do we roll here or do we just buy a health potion? I think I actually roll. Oh, you know what? I almost messed this up. It's got to be like this, which means I guess we do just put the buffs on our on our buffing units. Playing against Merlin. I mean, the one health is never going to matter. If we get to eight health, it matters. Let's do a roll. I don't think the one health is ever going to matter here. All right, that's fine. Really just playing this because it's a good unit. Could have just played the Hippocamp as well, but um, I think additional stats will actually be fine for us. All right, there we go. Good boy. Do yo thing, and now we've got a 300 unit. And let's see what Cupid does. Cupid takes out my good boy, which means I now have a 500 unit. Here comes Juliet. Let's, let's kill the Juliet, I guess. <laughs> and then here's another Juliet. I mean, we've definitely won this one, so no big concern. And now can Wonder Waddle take out Jack's giant? The moment of truth. Um, I don't think Juliet is actually bad here, nor is the puppy. What kind of things would I actually be looking for right now, though? I think it's just more copies of Good Boy. I think that's really all that I care about. The hand is cute. Don't think I'm interested in that. Sure, this can get us a Good Boy, and it did not... Uh, it could give us a shrivel. Now let's look for another good boy at this point. I do think Robin Wood is fine as well. We got one more roll for a good boy. Didn't find it. Don't really care. Could play a ranged unit. I think all this is fine. Oh, new hero power. Sure. My support does a little bit more. 
I think I can afford to do this even. It's awkward to give good boy health because sometimes that means it doesn't die. But if I remember correctly, this is the dwarves player. Um, so all of my good boys are going to die. So I really just care about getting a big enough tree that it's going to do some work for me. And it looks like that is the case here. And uh, we are going to be able to win uh, because of that. So, Or not because of that, but despite that, irrelevant to that. Oh, 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 but my opponent has life points still. Oh, they transformed into Big Bad Wolf to get some additional life points in the last hour. Well, good move by my opponent for sure there. Um, let's see. Uh, Fairy Godmother might even just be better. Let's see. No, this. I mean, this gives everything 20 attack. This would give everything 3 attack. So I guess it's just better to give everything 20 attack when these good boys die. Because they will be dying. All right, let's roll. We can find another Fairy Godmother, though. That could be epic. We are seeing a lot of health potions, but I also no longer have my one more roll for Fairy Godmother. Didn't get there. We could get a new hero power, though. I kind of like this hero power. What other hero power will we use? Well, let's just take a look. Well, this could be insane. <laughs> to transform into Trophy Hunter at the last second could allow us to be insane it does give us less stats on the board though so i'm not like particularly hype about it let's see oh no okay that survived that's fine that's fine oh and that's a slay okay but now this guy gets to slay so his ability triggers yeah yeah um and we have a five Thousand health. I've never got into the thousands before, but this is my first time getting a five thousand health unit or anything in the thousands, um, anything with four digits. So you were here for it live on stream, and uh, that'll probably be good enough to make the YouTube. Um, this is my first game that I've streamed at Monarch rank. And definitely feeling like I have a much, much better sense of the game right now than I did a little bit ago. Um, so if you are watching on YouTube, you can catch me live at twitch.tv slash nolexgiven, where I'm playing Storybook Brawl all random time. So hit that bell to be notified when I go live. But that's going to be it for me, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Nolexgiven. Peace.